Today let's take up uh, the basic operations from the binary files from the lesson data file handling. The basic operations. The first basic operation that I'll be taking up today is searching in a binary file. Right? Now all these uh, operations like searching or appending or deleting, modifying, all these are very important uh, from your exam point of view. And most of the questions uh, will have uh, the searching in a binary file. So let's, I, I'll now take up a small uh, example to make you understand how to write a program for searching in a binary file. Okay. Now supposing I write the program here hash include iostream.h hash include fstream.h right okay I take a class called employee and here Uh, let's take this. I take this as int emp number, right? Assuming that the emp number has all uh, numbers only. So I've taken it as integer, right? Okay. Care name, let's put it as 20 here. Care department uh, 10, fine. Then we take this float salary fine that's it uh, these are the private members of the class now I'm going to write the public methods here right okay In the public methods, I'll write here once again, public, I write this void get data, wherein the user is asked to input all the data. So this is see out, enter the employee number, end in, and here see in EMP number, right, okay. See out. enter the name of the employee and then here I'm using the C in function only uh, C in operator only if you want you can use the get line as I have uh, already taught you in my earlier uh, sessions uh, C in name right to keep it simple here I'm just taking the C in right okay hmm? C out enter the department of the employee and then and then you write C in department and then finally you ask for the salary enter the salary and then and here you write C in salary fine so that's the get data function now I have the void display function in void display function everything is displayed like this EMP number
then you have name of the employee and then you write name right and then then in the same line I'm writing um, department of the employee B, B E P W T right again coming to the next line using endl salary and displaying the salary and then again endl right this is your void display function in which you are just displaying all the fields along with their value fine now i am going to take up one function which is new here which is called the accessor function now int get emp number fine now here this accessor function it does nothing it just returns the emp number like this fine when we come to the main method then I'll explain actually how this works that is the end of the class here so here see this is our class in our class we have four uh, private uh, members emp number name department salary and in the public declaration we have two methods get data display and one more method which is the accessor function this is also a method only normal method but uh, we call it as an accessor function because it is going to access the private data member and going to return that right okay hmm. uh, then I write the main method here int main first of all you make a object of the class the class name was class emp right so emp obj1 right ok now see I need to take one variable I call it as int e number right and I take one character variable care ch is equal to I keep it as n right ok now we are going to search from a file for searching a file we have to read the file and um, we have to search the record so we have to read from the file so that means I'll take an object of the if stream class if stream file 1 now here you give the name of the file supposing the name of the file is emp.dat and this is to be opened in the ios input mode right so this particular file emp.dat must be there on your uh, disk right uh, you must have already created this file and this file must be existing there right okay hmm. fine now we have to search for a particular record based on the employee number of a particular employee right so here I say see out enter the employee number to be searched for fine end in and here you write c in here it should be e number the variable that you have taken here right ok int e number the variable that I have taken here this one this is what I am putting here right ok hmm? right now after this once the user has given a particular employee number and I have to search for that now see how we will do it 
first of all the file the file is already open here you have opened the file now you have to read the file right so i write while not file1 dot eof so this is the while loop i am putting which means that i am going to go through the whole file file1 file1 is basically what emp dot dat and i will be going through that file till i reach the end of file so while not file1 dot eof means till you reach the end of the file this loop will continue working right okay hmm now here okay the object of the if stream class that you made that is file1 so file1 dot read the read function care pointer sorry care pointer this is the type cast and here the object of the class that you had taken right and size of again the same object right here you are reading the first record fine when you read the first record the whole thing like the employee number name department salary all the four things come into this particular obj1 right now i have to see if obj1 dot get emp number is equal to equal to e number now this is where the accessor function comes into the picture right now what happens is i have the accessor function here itself so it's easier uh, for me to explain here see obj1 dot get emp number when i say obj1 dot get emp number it will get the employee number from the file so what happens this get emp number which i have here this will take me to this particular function right okay now supposing in that particular object one the employee number i have as something like uh, uh, supposing i have the employee number as 1001 right okay hmm. now this is when i say obj1 dot get emp number it takes me to this function what does this function do this function returns the emp number and what is the emp number the emp number that had been taken from the file suppose in the file you have 1001 1002 1003 1 like this i've got three records fine so when i give this first statement file1 dot read it reads this first record this is the first record right and <coughs> obj1 dot emp number right now this contains 1001 okay so here when it says return emp number here right return emp number this return emp number it returns that 1001 and that is returned into this place right and now here in this place enter the emp number to be searched for c in e number supposing the user enters the e number as 1002 supposing the user enters the e number as 1002 now what is the first record 1001 so it returns 1001 that 1001 is compared to this e number which is 1002 which is not equal right okay hmm? right now if it's not equal to obviously it will not come into this particular if condition right okay hmm? i'll write the coding which will be inside this if condition uh, this will be obj1 dot display right and then i write ch is equal to y and then we give a break right now
then you finish your while loop fine i'll first of all um okay this is the end of your while loop so it goes back it reads the second record now what is the second record the second record is 1002 right this is the second record so it reads the second record and now again omp obj1 dot get emp number is equal to equal to e number now this return emp number will give 1002 and your e number is also equal to 1002 so both of them becomes equal so i come into this if statement if condition right obj1 dot display so this particular record which had this 1002 this whole record will be displayed this is what you have searched for and you have found this particular record right okay so once this record is found it is displayed and after that i change the value of this character variable that i had taken here initially um, sorry here char ch is equal to n i have taken initially now i change that value to ch is equal to y and then i break out of the loop once a record is found there is no need for going through the whole file again right okay so supposing you have got 1000 records in a file and when you are searching then you get that particular record in the second position itself or the 10th position itself then there is no need for continuing the search right so you break out of the loop once you come out of the loop now you if uh, i'll give a if condition here if ch is equal to equal to y if ch is equal to equal to y that means the record has been found okay i'll put it this way instead of because uh, when we find the record we are already displaying it so instead of putting it like ch is equal to equal to y let's put it as ch is equal to equal to n if ch is equal to equal to n in that case the record is never found right record not found sorry like this right when the record is found the value of ch is changed to y if the value of ch is not equal to y that means it still retains the old value and that means the record has not been found right this if condition never becomes true that's what it means right okay after that you write file1.close now the job is over so you close the stream and then you say return 0 and then finally you close the main method right this is how you write a program for searching a record in the binary file okay so uh, the things that you have to understand in this is the accessor function that i have put here because you know this employee number this employee number is a private variable here private member here the private member cannot be accessed directly from the main method right if you want to access something i mean in the main method obviously you have the object so through the object you cannot access a private member through the object you can access only the public members right so in order to access the value of that particular private member we have made an accessor function and that accessor function has been made as a public function and that public function is getting the value of that private variable right okay hmm? and the other thing that you have to uh, remember here is once you get a particular record you have to change the value of this uh, character that you have taken so ch is equal to no here i have made it as ch is equal to y and then finally displaying the record or if it is not found then we are saying record not found okay so with that i come to the end of uh, this session on uh, uh, the searching operation in binary files bye